my whole goal for coming out here besides winning was uh, to play the best game I could, you know, try to be as honest and straightforward as I could, not have to, you know, really backstab people. And I, I don't think I really did. I mean, there was a few people that I did have to, uh, you know, not tell the whole truth to. Some people did get a little deceived, but I did what I think I had to do to get as far as I did without hurting too many people. Nobody who got voted off was really surprised by what I did. Everyone understood what I was doing, and um, I don't really have any regrets except getting voted off. There was nothing I could really do about it. Um, I talked to everyone, did my thing, and I really, you know, I expected some people to, to kind of backstab and just throw it back, but I didn't expect it right now. I really thought that uh, we had a good plan going and it was going to work out uh, at least a few more rounds. <laughs> I, just, I keep thinking about my friends are going to be laughing at me when they see I got beat by the tiny flight attendant, the sassy New York waitress, and the lady with the mullet, but, you know... I know I did my best, and um, <laughs> I just can't believe uh, this is the way it worked out. But you know, I had a great experience out here. I think I don't. I don't think I deserve to go home tonight. But I think a lot of people go before they uh, before it should be their time because people are scared, people are paranoid, they feel threatened, and some people just get really lucky. I mean, James is a huge threat, but. He got all those idols. He said, "Lots of people have found their own way to get in." I, uh, I guess I just didn't uh, find the right place, didn't get the right time, didn't have the luck. Uh, but I'm chill. I'll be all right. I'm not completely blown away. Uh, I've known that I was a threat for a long time. Uh, a lot of people told me that. Uh, I guess I should have gone home a long time ago, but. Um, I also know I did the best that I could to stay here, but I tried to keep a positive attitude and do everything I could. Apparently that was all in vain, and I didn't even get to eat a cheeseburger or have any mustard, but um, I'll get plenty of that later. Honestly, uh, back in Chicago, I'm a pretty uh, cynical guy. I'm usually pretty negative and uh, look at a, a lot of the downside of things, but since I've been out here, I've really forced myself to look at the positive, try and find like a uh, good balance in things and really, really working that whole mind over matter. Things are as good as you can take it, do your best, all that stuff. Like I really took to it and uh, hopefully that stays with me once I head back home. When I came out here, I wanted to prove that somebody who's younger, smaller, you know, less experienced in life or whatever, could come out here and do the same job that anyone else can do. And I think that by getting this far in the game, I have proved that, not only to the world and to everyone here, but to myself, that I am capable of doing anything. There are obstacles, and I overcame a lot of them. And it wasn't easy, but as long as you're willing to adapt and face all these things that come forward, you can really do what you need to do. The only thing I can't believe is that after 27 days, I'm still only got eighth place. That's like barely over half. Oh my God. But hey, 27 days is still a long time. There's only 12 days left. That's still pretty good.